this is just a start in Sacramento. Uh, in the days ahead, uh, we are going to have uh, more announcements and more importantly, more funding um, to be able to not just get people into these quality trailers, and they are quality trailers, but also into a lot of vacant motel rooms uh, and, and spread out within our existing shelters, not only to deal with COVID-19, obviously, but to bring as many people as we can, and I think it can be in the four figures. I think we can bring over a thousand people indoors, um, and once they're indoors, uh, to make sure that we do everything in our power to ensure that they remain indoors even beyond this crisis. And so this is a start and a great start, but only the beginning. And I think the COVID-19 outbreak just underscores how important it is to address the homelessness issue. Because as people are homeless, as they are out on the streets, they are clustered together for safety. I mean, it's dangerous out on the streets and they could catch the disease and then continue. And they do interact with the rest of us in society. That they're not, it's not they and us, we're all together. And so we need to help people uh, get them housed, uh, get them the, you know, we talk about hand washing. Well, we need a place to wash your hands, right? We don't want people to get infected, right? So all the things we're asking people to do to slow the spread of this disease, we need everyone to do. That includes people who unfortunately are right now are unhoused. And so this is a step, uh, not only this, what we're doing here today at Cal Expo, but also in terms of looking for other uh, locations, uh, you know, hotels and other types of facilities we can have people housed 